in the gospel text of today, which is taken from the gospel of Mark chapter 3 verses 1 to 6, we come across once again what is known as a Sabbath controversy. The Sabbath had a number of rules and regulations associated with it and those rules and regulations were observed minutely and so our scene in the gospel text of today is that it is a Sabbath day and Jesus is in a synagogue. In the same synagogue is a man with a withered arm. The man is not on the point of death. The man has possibly lived with that withered arm for a long time and could possibly live with the withered arm for one more day. However, for Jesus, there is no tomorrow. For Jesus, there is only the now. For Jesus, there is only the present. And so he wants to heal the man. However, even as he calls the man and looks around, people are looking at him in anger. People are looking at him in judgment. They want to test and see whether he will really heal the man on the Sabbath, which again they would consider as work, which again they would consider as breaking the Sabbath, which again they would consider as not keeping the Sabbath holy. Even as Jesus brings the man to the center of the synagogue, he teaches his adversaries a lesson. And the lesson is through the question that he asks them. And the question is this, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm? And then Jesus adds, to save life or to kill. And so the question is, the first part of the question might be understood because doing good would be healing this man, doing good would be reaching out to this man. But what is the point of the second part of the question to save life or to kill? Why does Jesus add that question there? Because the very same adversaries who are complaining that Jesus is healing on the Sabbath, on that same Sabbath, are plotting how to kill Jesus. And that is why he raises this question to ask them for an introspection, to ask them to go deep into their minds and hearts to really find out what they are complaining about. Are they complaining merely out of jealousy, which it seems is the case, or are they complaining because they are really concerned about the law? And even if they are concerned really about the law, Jesus invites them to go beyond. And even as the man is brought to the center, Jesus will not let the law control him. He is beyond the law because love is always beyond the law. He asks the man to stretch out his withered arm. The man obeys the command of Jesus and his arm is healed instantly. It is because of this healing that his adversaries go out on the same Sabbath to plot to destroy him. It is very easy for us to point a finger at the adversaries of Jesus and ask and say how hard-hearted they were. Could not they see that the man was in need? However, the larger majority of us behave like the adversaries of Jesus in our own lives. When I am jealous about someone else, when I turn in anger against someone else, when I am not able to forgive and I am judgmental of someone else, then I am behaving like the adversaries of Jesus. And so I need to ask myself whether I will give up my jealousy, whether I will give up my judgmental attitude, whether I will give up my anger against others who I think 
are doing good.